we want to simplify the given expressions. An expression is not considered simplified if it contains negative exponents. So looking at this first expression, we want to begin by simplifying inside the parentheses. So looking at our fraction, notice how we have a numerator of two to the first times b to the first. Our denominator is b to the third, but we can think of this as one b to the third. So when we simplify the fraction, notice two divided by one would be two. And then we have b to the first divided by b to the third. Because we're dividing in the bases of the same, we subtract the exponents. So we have b raised to the power of one minus three. And all this is still raised to the power of negative two. Well, one minus three is equal to negative two, so we have two b to the negative two raised to the power of negative two. Again, this is two to the first, so we have powers to powers, so we multiply the exponents. So here we'll have two raised to the power of one times negative two, that's negative two. b to the power of negative two times negative two is positive four. And now to change the sign of the exponent on two, let's write this as a fraction. If we move two to the negative two to the denominator, it's going to change the sign of the exponent. So this is going to be equal to b to the fourth in the numerator. And the denominator is now going to be two raised to the power of positive two, or two squared, which is equal to four. So our expression simplifies to b to the fourth divided by four. Let's look at our next expression. And again, if it's helpful, we can think of the denominator as having a coefficient of one. So we'll simplify one step at a time. Notice five divided by one is equal to five. And we have v to the negative four divided by v to the negative six. We're dividing in the bases of the same, so we subtract the exponents. So we'd have v raised to the power of negative four minus negative six. And then we have m to the fifth divided by m to the seventh. So we'll subtract the exponents, m to the power of five minus seven. Simplifying, we have five times v raised to the power of, this becomes negative four plus six, which is positive two. And then we have m raised to the power of five minus seven, that's negative two. So we can't have m to the power of negative two in our simplified expression. So let's create a fraction with a denominator of one, and now we'll move m to the power of negative two down to the denominator, which changes the sign of the exponent. So we'll have a numerator of five v squared, a denominator of m raised to the power of positive two, or m squared. This would be our simplified expression. Next we have one fourth times five six raised to the power of negative two. Now we can use this property here, but I prefer to think of this as five to the first divided by six to the first, and because we have powers to powers, we can multiply the exponents. So this is equal to one-fourth times five to the power of negative two divided by six to the power of negative two. And now to make the exponents positive, we'll move five to the power of negative two down to the denominator, and six to the power of negative two up to the numerator. So this would give us one-fourth times six to the positive two power, six squared, divided by five to the power of positive two, or five squared, which is equal to one-fourth times, here we have 36 divided by 25. Here we do have a common factor of four. There's one four and four, and nine fours and 36. So for our simplified fraction, our numerator is going to be one times nine or nine, and the denominator is going to be one times 25 or 25. Now our last expression looks like a big mess, but notice how this entire base is being raised to the zero power. Anything raised to the zero power other than zero to the zero is equal to one, and therefore this equals one. There's no need to simplify inside the parentheses. I hope you found this helpful.